I'm Brent and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on a little project that we're not so much interested in the final product as we are the processes that we use to get there. What we're going to be working on today is a leaf. Now the reason I say that is making a leaf involves using a lot of the fundamentals that a blacksmith should be proficient at. You do some drawing out, you do some tapering, you do some fullering both with a hammer and with a handheld fuller, you do some half face set downs. So it's really a good exercise for any level blacksmith. But before we get going on that, I'd like a little input on future videos. In the future we could do a video on a hold down similar to this one. Now we would make that predominantly in the power hammer. Or if you'd like, we can make some miniature tongs. Now I do use these miniature tongs to hold my maker's mark when I'm marking my work, so they do have a use. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Thank you. Well, let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is hot cut this railroad spike. You're gonna mark it all the way around. start cutting it. Here's the reason you use a hot cut on that. You see how it kind of developed a small point on it? That will keep us from getting a cold shut or fish mouth on the end of that as we draw it to a taper in our next heat. Now we're going to taper this out a little bit. The first few blows should be back towards you a good bit, get those corners knocked back. It should be a four sided taper. As you get closer to a point, you're gonna get on the far side of your anvil. Just take your time as you start getting to a point. That should work for our point. We're gonna heat it up again. We're gonna do a half face set down. Now that we've drawn this to a taper, let's just leave ourselves about three quarter to one inch straight. set down, two-sided only. I caution you from getting this too thin. This cross section's got to have a little meat to it right now because it will be flopping around a bit as we draw out the stem on our leaf. Back up about another inch or so of straight, and we're going to start drawing out our stem. Half on, half off. With your rounded hand, making a turn, quarter turn, every hit. side of our hammer. Same thing. Quarter turn. We'll heat that up and cut it off now. Same method as before. Try to keep your cut kind of centered. Now let's heat it up, let's work our stem just a little bit more, then we'll start folding out the leaf. Okay, now we're going to work on the near side of the hammer. Still with our rounding hammer. Up a bit. 
on that and clean it up just a bit, then we'll get started on the leaf. Okay, I'm going to use a little caution. This area here, you want this point straight up when you start flattening. Use the flat side of your hammer. And that's about all you want to do with the flat side of your hammer. We're fixing to start using a diagonal peen to spread this out, but you use a flat hammer at the very start, so the leaf don't twist on you and offset your stem. We're trying to keep the stem somewhat in the center, not critical. Alright, let's start working this with a diagonal peen. Maybe hit the center. Evenly. Maintain some symmetry. It's looking pretty good. Alright, let's work on the stem a little bit more. At this point, we're just knocking all the corners down. And don't be real methodical on this part. If it twists a little bit, turns a little bit on you, that's good. And you don't want it super smooth. We want it to look kind of like a vine. Just be careful not to work it too much once you get it into a somewhat round state. It will fracture on you. Started marking the center line of our leaf with kind of a blunt chisel. Make sure you drop your chisel. Definition down each side. Now we're going to start fullering down each side with a fullering chisel. Take your time doing this. As you work towards the tip of your leaf, leaf. Start turning your chisel in line with the center of the leaf. This is going to take several heats. We're not going to be able to work this cold. It is a railroad spike after all. That's what we're working towards. We'll get a couple more heats on this and we'll see if we can finish that out. Took us three heats, but we got it there. It's looking good. I'm gonna go wire wheel this. Be back in just a moment. Now we're to the point. I tell you why we used a railroad spike for this project. Railroad spikes have just a little bit more carbon content than mild steel, and the surface finish is just so much nicer on something with a little bit more carbon in it. And you don't have to pay as much attention as you're working to brush it every time you come out of the fire. Um, one bad thing about it is if you hit on it cold too much or if you try to quench an area while you're working, it will fracture on it. finished leaf. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to your comments.
Thanks for watching.